Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you today for joining me on another video. And in today's video, I'll be giving you guys a walkthrough of how to flash your Samsung device. Now, the main reasoning behind this video and the main reason I'm making this is because just a few days ago, I wanted to flash my Galaxy S8 because it doesn't have inbuilt Volti support. So I travel back and forth to multiple places and I wanted to have Volti support on my Galaxy S8. Unfortunately, I bought the phone in uh, the UAE where they don't have that support built into the software. Because of that, I wasn't able to use the Volti supported networks and it was just becoming a big hassle. So especially if you have a uh, Volti network such as uh, Geo in India or T-Mobile in the US, you won't be able to use those uh, networks without the proper software. So what I did was uh, I went through a lot of forms, a lot of people having similar problems, but nobody knew exactly what to do to make this work. So what I'm gonna be doing is giving you guys a walkthrough of A, the walkthrough is two part in the sense that you can use this either for just flashing your Galaxy S8 or any, any Galaxy phone if you're having issues with it, or you can use this to change the software to make sure that Volti works. Now, disclaimer right up front, guys, I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong, and there may be something that might go wrong. So be do this at your own risk. Make sure that you don't depend on this device completely. If something goes wrong, give yourself a little bit of time to make it work. Definitely take your time. So that's one thing that I can't stress enough. Don't do this when you're in a hurry. Take a day or two, make sure that you have everything downloaded, everything ready to go. Make sure you have an internet connection and everything so that if you do have issues, you can quickly troubleshoot and get them working. So let me give you a rundown of what, what's exactly gonna happen in the video. Number one, I'll be showing you guys what you have to do in order to find out whether or not your phone is first of all supported. Secondly, I'll show you guys what exactly to do to get the software. And I'll tell you guys how to download the software, what software to use in order to get this new firmware onto your mobile. And lastly, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly the steps of doing it on the computer. Now, let me give you a rundown of what happened. So. The Galaxy Note, uh, the Galaxy, any Galaxy phone has multiple variants that sell throughout the world. So they'll be codenamed like G950F or G950FD, or there's a lot of variations of that. So now the G950F is the Galaxy S8 single SIM version. The G950FD is the Galaxy S8 dual SIM version. Now the dual SIM version is sold mostly throughout Asia. The single SIM version is sold mostly throughout Europe and other parts of uh, UAE and stuff. So what happens is that phone is very, uh, the single SIM phone does not have Volti support built into the software, especially because I bought it from Dubai. Now, the Indian version, however, the dual SIM version, it has Volti support because there are Volti networks here. And the issue is a lot of people who buy the phones over there or buy phones from a different country aren't able to use these Volti networks when they bring them back to India. Now, I had the same issue, so I tried a lot of different things. A lot of people just recommended uh, reset the phone with an Indian SIM in, and it'll get everything working, but that didn't work for me, and it didn't work for a lot of other people either. So the only le option you have left is you have to flash your phone. Now, flashing your phone means you are putting in a brand new software. It means that mostly your entire data, everything will go away. So what you're gonna need to do, the first thing is make sure, even before you think about this, you have a backup of everything. You have a backup of all your files, photos, any app data that you need, anything that you need, make sure you have it uh, saved somewhere safely. Now, the second thing you're gonna need is to find out, first of all, whether or not your phone has software support on both sides. So. Now, if you have a Galaxy S8, what happens is that there are multiple countries with multiple different versions of the same software. So now what I did was the G950FD and the G950F can have the same software flash. So I did. you do have to do a little bit of research based on your device. Now, if you have an S8, mostly almost all the softwares can be flashed interchangeably. However, there are some circumstances where it can't. So always do your research first. Then what happens is you're gonna need to uh, download the firmware for which you, you want. So if you're just flashing your phone to uh, fix any issues you have, download the same firmware you have. So if you have the Galaxy G950 FD, download the version for the FD. If you have the G950F, download it for the F. But if you're gonna do it to enable Volti, what you're gonna wanna do is find the Indian version or any other version where you know it works. This again requires a little bit of research. So what I did was I did a little research and I'll show you guys exactly how I found out which version is which and how uh, to deduct that. But the real thing here is, let me explain to you guys, the Indian version will work on most people's phones. Now the thing is there may be some software features missing, there may be some additions. So keep that in mind. But the thing is you will get Volti enabled. 
So I'll tell you guys what happens is I'll you have to download the software, the firmware for the uh, Galaxy S8, then or any phone, Galaxy phone. Then you have a software called Odin. Odin will flash the firmware onto your phone when you put it into download mode. So what happens is when you have everything ready, you put your phone in a mode called download mode. Now download mode can be accessed through different shortcut keys on every different phone. So, so for uh, the Galaxy S8, what you have to do is the Bixby, power, uh, the volume down and power button all at the same time. When the phone is turned off, if you hit those three, the phone will boot up into download mode. Once it's in download mode, you can connect to the phone and I'll show you guys exactly what the process is. So let's get into it and Again, a final warning guys, I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong. Be sure to take your time and make sure you have a backup of all of your data. I can't stress how important that is. So let's get right into it. All right, everybody, so before we move into the next step, let me just explain to you a quick thing you have to make sure is enabled on your phone. So quickly go into your settings and go to about phone. It'll be at the bottom of your page. It might be a little bit different for you depending on the software you're on, but about phone will always be there. So what you're want, gonna wanna do after that is go into the software information page. Once you're into software information, you will see build number. Now you're gonna, what you're gonna wanna do is tap on that build number about six to seven times, and this will enable developer mode. Now developer mode will pop up usually underneath about phone once it's enabled. You'll get a notification uh, after you're done tapping that developer mode is now enabled at the bottom of your screen, so just pay attention to that. And once it's enabled, go into developer options. Once you're in developer options, make sure that you have OEM unlock enabled. So make sure that it's on and ready to go because this is what will allow you to flash your software, change it, and take it out. Now, one quick thing, if you guys can't find the setting, do a little bit of research because there's two options. One, it's okay, your software just doesn't have this feature. Or two, your carrier, your phone is locked to a carrier and you don't, uh, you can't flash a new software. The bootloader is locked, which means that uh, you can't do anything beside with the software. So keep an eye out on that. And let's move on to the next step. All right, guys. So. Now I'll show you guys how to find the firmware and the software to flash your phone. So what you're going to want to do is go to sammobile.com, S-A-M mobile.com. Now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a user account here. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, but you're going to need an account to download this. So what you're going to want to do is when you get logged in and everything, you're going to see the screen. Just go to firmware. Now when you go into firmware, you'll see this find firmware so enter your model number so your model number uh, you should know but now if here's the thing if you're just flashing your phone for the same firmware use the model number that is in your settings so go to settings and about phone and you'll have device model number use the same model number for that but now say that you want to flash your phone for enabling 4G Volti and uh, on the geo network especially what you're going to do is so now I have the Galaxy S8 so I'm gonna hit Galaxy S8 and what you're gonna want to see here is a bunch of Galaxy S8 codes so 9500, 950F, 950FD so my phone is the 950F however what I want is the 950FD software now this is the Indian software what you're gonna have to do is depending on the phone you have you're gonna have to do a little bit of research and find out which one is exactly the Indian variant for your phone. It's very easily findable, so don't worry. So let me just go and hit search on this. Uh, the easiest way, in fact, to do this is to, let me just show you real quick. What you're gonna wanna do is just go to, uh, just enter Galaxy S8 or whatever phone you have, GSM Arena. So once you go to GSM Arena, what you'll have is a list like this of versions so what you're gonna wanna do is look through the version that you uh, that you have and look for the version that you need so now FD is a global dual sim so this is the version that the Indian one uses and this is the one that has the Volti capability and this is the one I have so for Europe global si sing single sim what you're gonna do now is because you verified this what the thing was for me I wasn't able to confirm through this but I just googled it and I went on Sam mobile there was another form that confirmed it for me so let me just go back now what you're gonna wanna do is in this this is where you're gonna search for India so India or whatever country you have so if you have a phone from say the US find the model number for US and find the US in this list and 
I'm doing this to show you what to do if you have a geo, uh, if you need to enable geo on your phone. So now I have the INS software, and what you're going to want to do is find the latest one. So the latest one came out on 928, so that's September 28th. So this is the best one to download. It's 7.0. So right here, just click on click on this, and you'll go to another page. In this page, you'll be allowed to download it, and you're going to get Odin as well. So instructions right here. So right here is where you'll find the download file as well. So it'll be there for any firmware you choose. Now download the Odin file mentioned here. Don't download something else because it won't work properly. Download this Odin file and use it properly. So just first of all, just go ahead and click on download Odin. Let this download. Just save it. And then save this. So regular download. Now let me warn you guys, this is a little bit slow. It'll take a couple of hours to download because it is a few GB. But it will right. So I'm just gonna cancel this because I already have it. Just go through the video and watch it and then your download should start. It will take a couple of hours, so maybe plug it in, put it on overnight, or just you know grab some lunch or something, and it should be ready by then. So let's move on to the next step. Alright everybody, so once you have both of these files downloaded, I recommend putting them in the same file. I just named mine Galaxy S8. And what you'll have here is, you have the RAR files. So I just extracted them to desktop, uh, to the same folder. So let me just go ahead and install Odin first. So Odin is the software that, okay, you don't need to install it. Uh, you can just run it. So Odin is the software that you're going to be using to do this flash. Alright guys, so one thing you got, you have to double check is, Go into options on the left here in Odin, above this dialog box, and make sure that auto reboot is checked and repartition is unchecked. Make sure that these settings are turned off. They are set properly by default, but it's always good to double check before you make the move. Now, let's move on. So what you're gonna wanna do is uh, put your phone into download mode. Uh, most phones have different ways to put put it on download mode. My S8 is you have to hold the power, Bixby, and volume down button. Uh, every phone is going to be different. I recommend that you look it up before you uh, do anything, but the phone has to be in download mode before you can do this. So once you have it, and all you have to do is just connect the phone to your um, computer with a USB, and when you connect it, what will happen is you'll get uh, an added, you got this added right here. So what you're supposed to do at this point is, you see this BLAPCPCSD, you are supposed to click on BL first, and go to where you saved your file. So here's the Galaxy S8, I have it on my desktop. Go into the firmware file that you extracted, and find BL. So you see the first two letters with BL, click BL, and hit open. So now the BL file is loaded. Now do the same thing for AP. Look, find the file with AP and do AP. Uh, it'll take a minute or two. AP is a little bit of a larger file. So uh, let me just speed this up real quick. But AP, you're supposed to add it and then just wait for a couple of seconds. Don't be worried if it's not happening. So you can just see right here, it says, please wait on the left in the dialog box. So just wait for AP to be done. Mm -hmm. So now we have the AP file loaded up. So let's move on to the CP file. So right here we have CP, just open. Then the last one is UCSC. So now you guys can see there's two CSC files, home CSC and just CSC. What I recommend is use CSC, don't use home CSC. And be aware, CSC will delete all of your data. And so make sure that before you do this, you have everything backed up and everything is ready to go. So again, CSC is gonna take a minute to load up here and now I have everything loaded up. So I'm not gonna be flashing my phone because uh, I already just flashed my phone a few days ago. So all you have to do at this point is hit start and let the process run through. It'll run up here in this uh, section and it'll let you know when it's done. And you shouldn't have any errors if you've done this right. However, if you have any errors, let me know in the comments down below and I can help you out. But this is it, that's all you have to do in Odin. So let it boot up and let it do whatever it needs to. It's going to take a few times. So that it will take a few minutes, by the way, for this to process because it is basically transferring the entire software to your computer. I'm sorry, to your phone. So stay patient and let it run through. So that was that, guys. So if you followed the process, 
you should be in the clear now. You should have a brand new uh, software installed on your phone and it should be rebooting and uh, about now and it will take a few minutes to reboot. And if you do uh, restart back in download mode, just uh, follow the process. Just Google how to exit soft, uh, the download mode and you should reboot back into the brand new software. Uh, go ahead, set it up, make sure everything works. If you guys have any questions about the process or if you guys have got stuck at any point or can't understand a step, uh, let me know down in the comments below or you can get in touch with me through uh, social media or email. Uh, via email, I could give you a lot more of a better explanation. So all the links, all the description, uh, everything is down in the description below to help you guys get in contact with me if you need to. That's going to be a wrap for this video, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down based on if you like the video or not. Uh, if you do give me a thumbs up, let me know what went wrong, why you didn't like the video. I really want to improve my videos and your feedback will help me do that. Be sure to check me out on social media. I update a lot of behind the scenes stuff and really interesting things I do throughout the day. All the links are down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.